What is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of some Dominations. Uh, this is going to be a short tutorial video to teach y'all how to get the trade goods that everybody seems to be struggling with. Um, I know there for a long time I struggled and I really didn't uh, utilize a lot of my uh, mercenary camps because I was just struggling in collecting trade goods and I didn't know exactly what the most effective way was to get trade goods. But y'all don't have to look no further. It's right here for you. Um, as y'all can tell, if you are in a trophy range, all right, where you are able to collect a daily bonus, all right, you get one to three um, choices to choose from or one diamond, all right. This is a great way to make sure that you're getting a daily um, trade good for free just for pushing up in trophies and getting into a, a, a higher league. So with this, I'm already maxed out on diamonds, so I don't really need to worry about it. So what I'll do is end up taking uh, some of the metal, send that off. Also, another great thing to do is keep hunting. All right, whenever you see your, your stuff on the board here, um, my, my dudes are actually all pretty busy. Uh, be sure to hunt because you get your leather, you get your fur, you know, you get the stuff that you need um, to essentially get some of these things that you're needing. Um, so be sure to always hunt. Uh, another effective way to do it is to use uh, the storehouse. All right, the storehouse here. Um, it does cost a little bit for a shipment, 10 crowns. I, I literally, you can complete two. You can complete two of these goals and have almost enough to do a trade good. Um, so that's always going to be a great way. Also, you know, throw a little five dollars in the crowns. You could, uh, you know, easily get this as well. Um, tons of different things you could do with your crowns. Uh, do the trade good shipment here. Open it up, and then this is a great way um, to see. I got two diamonds and one metal. Unfortunately. Um, I was, oh wait, I'm maxed out on diamonds now. I actually got all the diamonds, which is great. I forgot I just leveled up my uh, trade goods store. Um, last but not least, the next way is going to be attacking bases. All right, um, you can find and get about five to five trade goods off of a base if you find the right base to hit, um, or at least three to four for sure. Um, also, <laughs> me personally, I do not like being up in the trophy range. I normally drop down to about two to three hundred trophy range and I try farming around that area um, because I like to get diamonds because I like elephants okay so if I'm hitting stuff that has um, a chance at do you see this over here down like wait right this yeah yeah right this way uh, right next to my fingers you'll see that I have a chance at five trade goods so I'm going to hit this base and have a chance to get five of these trade goods from this base so that means to me I'm definitely gonna hit this base because I want a chance at them trade goods so I'm going to come over here. I'm going to deploy my troops. Get these bad boys pushing up in there. I don't have any spells either. This is going to actually really suck. All right. There we go. It's actually a pretty easy base. It looks like it's a classical age base. I don't think I'll have any troubles taking out this base. Um, as long as we get to that mortar pretty quickly. It didn't do too much damage. Um, it did half health. A lot of my... Uh, Spearman, not not too big of an issue, uh, but we do have some tanks still left. Um, they are pushing in here. We should clear this base out relatively easy, and we should get, I want to say, at least two to three trade goods out of this base. And then also, we should get a diamond for 100%ing this base, or five-starring this base, which is what you want to do to get your diamonds. It's very essential. So, I've, I've been playing Path of War so much, I'm looking for my speed-up button. <laughs> If y'all guys have not played Path of War, it's another Nexon game. Um, very, very fun. Definitely highly recommend uh, playing it um, if y'all like strategic games. Uh, so this is going to be the gist of how you get trade goods in this game. Um, always look at the chance at getting trade goods. Um, always, You can push up, make sure you're in a league, get a daily trade good. Uh, you can hunt animals, and then also you could do the trade-in for 10 crowns and get uh, trade goods that way very very simplistic um you know sometimes you might not get the most loot out of the base if there's a lot of trade goods or you might just get lucky and find a base that has a lot of loot and a lot of trade goods for you to take uh so let's go ahead and get to the part where we defeat this base already and then see what we got all right pretty simple base Looks like we destroyed all the food buildings. Got the bonus. Spike tracks coming through. Oh, no. 
Whatever shall we do? Sorry, Classical Age, dude. I'm a Medieval Age. I'm really working to max it out my base right now, and it's taking a lot longer. Okay, so we got one trade good out of it, which is iron, but we had a chance at five different trade goods. So, bear in mind, not every time you're going to get everything, but I did not only get one iron, I also got a diamond for getting a five-star on this base. So, always look for easy bases that you can take out, not spend as many troops. I did lose a lot of my spearmen, unfortunately, um, so I am going to have to cook that up. But also, we made back the food and the gold to cover the cost on that. So, it's really not going to take very long to cook up these troops, and then you'll be able to go right back in, raid, and do whatever you're needing to do, whatever you need to take out. Also, trade goods are not only good for your mercenary camps, but they are good for bonuses um, towards your base. So if you come over here to your temple and you look at your blessings, blessings are essential sometimes uh, depending on what you want to do. So you got, you know, tons of different blessings here um, that you would be able to get. Me personally, I'm not going to do it right now because I was just planning on making this video and then probably going to bed because it's like 3.35 in the morning right now. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. If y'all did, please give me a thumbs up. Also, subscribe if you have not subscribed for more content. And uh, leave me some comments and let me know what y'all think about this method for making trade goods. And let me know what's been working for y'all as well. I'll see all you in the next episode.